Hey friends, welcome again. So I hope you are doing good with mathematics and you are able to understand the concepts through these video lectures. Now going forward, uh, we will be dealing with lots of other uh, topics on geometry and as you know, this is a series on uh, similarity. So let's continue. So in this session, we are going to understand what are conditions for similarity. Now, as we know, similarity, we deal with uh, uh, polygons, isn't it? So there are polygons. Polygons means there are geometric figures with more than three sides or even three side uh, geometric figure is uh, called a polygon. So basically a closed figure. So let us say I have this kind of a closed figure and let me name this A, B, C, D, E. Right, this is how the polygon is, and, and I have another polygon like this, and its name is F G H I, let's say J. So you can see clearly here it is a pentagon, isn't it? This is a pentagon. Pentagon. Now I am talking about similarity of these two polygons. First of all, uh, symbol of symbol for similarity symbol for similarity how do we express similarity so let us say if a b c d e is similar to f g h i j then we write a b c d e is similar to f g h i j okay so let us first understand what does this mean. So first of all, I am using a symbol here, tilde sign, right? So this is for similar. You might have known that for congruence, if you remember for congruence, what kind of symbol did we use? Like that, right? But for similarity, we use this symbol. Now, not only the symbol is important here, the order in which you are writing the vertices. So A, then B, then C, then D, then E the same order you have to write f g h i j what is this order this order is we'll see in when we see with the condition of similarity so these are called corresponding vertices so a is corresponding to f b is corresponding to g c to h d to i and e to j these are called corresponding vertices please bear in the bear in mind what is the importance of corresponding vertices okay and similarly if you see ab is corresponding to fg so ab side is corresponding to fg side and so on and so forth we'll come back to this a little moment later now so what are the conditions for similarity under what circumstances we will say that this polygon or pentagon to be precise abcde is similar to fg hij right so let us understand those conditions and the conditions are so now i'm writing the conditions one the condition is first condition is corresponding corresponding angles corresponding angles must be equal must be equal this is criteria number one criteria number two says the length the the length length of their corresponding sides must be proportional must be proportional okay so let us take another let us say another pentagon is like this or similar pentagon which I drew above. Let us say this is A, B, C, D, E and another one is like that. Somewhat looking similar. Is it? Now let us say this is F, G, H, I and J. So for the, for the first criteria to be fulfilled, we know angle A must be equal to angle F hence corresponding. So a vertex a is corresponding to vertex f similarly angle b must be equal to angle g angle c must be equal to angle h angle d must be equal to angle i and angle e must be equal to angle j this is first criteria all the corresponding angles must be equals and what does the second criteria mean 
lengths of their corresponding sides must be proportional means ab by fg so if you see these are two proportion these are two corresponding sides length is it similarly bc corresponds to gh cd corresponds to hi ed corresponds to ji and ae corresponds to fj okay so please take care of this corresponding sides and very very important now so hence what is the rule or the criteria ab by fg must be equal to bc by gh must be equal to cd by hi must be equal to i uh, ed or de rather let's write in order de by ij and ea upon jf so this is criteria number 2 in any two geometric plane figures if these two criteria are met then we say a b c d e is similar to f g h i j again the you cannot write like this or you cannot change the order you cannot write f j i h g this will be wrong to say why because in this case the corresponding angles are not same why because a is equal to f that's fine but b was equal to g here and here in in place of g it is it is j which is coming and b is not angle b is not equal to angle j right so please mind that order is also important all the corresponding vertices must be same all the corresponding sides should be proportional so hence if you see here the corresponding side is ab here it is fg right so these are the corresponding sides but ab ab and fj are not the corresponding sides right so this one corresponds to this this one doesn't correspond to this okay so please mind the order in which you are writing the vertices is very critical you must have the same order of or same sense of uh, ordering right so for example e this is the last angle here and j must be equal second last angle is d so d must be equal to second last here i c must be equal to h and like that okay so order is important and hence what are the two criteria all angles corresponding angles must be equal all corresponding sides must be proportional right now both of uh, both of them must be holding true simultaneously if one is true and two is not then they are not similar okay and if two is true and one is not then also they are not similar but triangles is an exception for triangles this is a this is for any this these two criteria so let me write it down i'm writing that above two criteria above two criteria must be simultaneously true that means both should both should hold true if one is true another is not true then this uh, polygons are not similar and vice versa but triangles are exception triangles because of the virtue of their geometry triangles are exception meaning what so in triangle in triangle any of the uh, any of the above above two criteria is fulfilled 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 then then the second criteria is then the second criteria is automatically automatically fulfilled okay so you don't need to check for both and it is only for triangles mind you not for any other polygons not even for squares rectangles nothing only for triangles right triangles are exception that if you just prove any one of them either you you, you establish this or you establish this any one of them if you establish the other one is automatically established this is by virtue of the properties of triangle right so hence for triangle you don't need to prove or establish both the criteria any one is established and the triangles are similar but but for triangles any other polygon if you take 
you have to prove or establish both independently right both independently you have to establish only when both are established then you can say the polygons are similar and what is what did we learn we learned that in triangles it is not necessary only one criteria if you fulfill by the virtue of properties of triangles geometry the, the other one is automatically fulfilled and hence the triangles are similar now in the next session we'll take up uh, similar triangles and their properties